the 800. In 1937, a group of Chinese soldiers mount a four-day defense of a warehouse building in Shanghai, just as Japanese forces overwhelm China. This film, based on real events, seemed to us not only interesting but realistic, full of drama, strong emotions and action. It can be noted that the producers paid close attention to the details in order to immerse the viewer in how devastating and bloody this battle was that was actually seen from the Shanghai International Concession on the other side of the Sushu stream that was in front of the warehouse of Zihang, the place of the battle. A sentence set in the film sums it all up. There is paradise and here is hell. All the production elements are excellent, highlighting the cinematography, set designs, costumes and special effects that are really spectacular. The performances of the entire cast are very good and believable. If you like war movies based on historical facts and full of action, this production is a very good option to watch and that's why we give it 4 stars out of 5. The Battle of Lake Chanhing. The film is based on the Lake Chosin campaign, known in China as Chanhing, a Korean War battle in which Chinese troops of the People's Volunteer Army took part against soldiers under US command in 1950. This film, based on true events, has been considered the highest grossing production in the history of Chinese cinema and currently the second highest grossing non-English language film of all times. We found this movie entertaining, interesting, emotional, dramatic and with a good dose of action. Of course, it's noticeable that it's a propaganda production of what really happened in this battle where the Chinese defeated the US troops and there are somewhat exaggerated and difficult to believe parts but that really does not detract from the validity of the film since there are Western films, especially from the United States, that do the same thing. The production elements such as cinematography, set designs, costumes and special effects are all good, although in regards to the computer-generated aircraft, they leave much to be desired. To us, the performances of the entire Chinese cast seemed decent and even good, but that of the actors who portray the US troops, they seemed average and some even mediocre. Leaving aside any geopolitical intentions of this film, we found it to be a good production and entertaining to watch, so we give it 3 stars out of 5.
The Battle of Lake Shanhing II, also known as Watergate Bridge. Sequel that follows brothers Wu Qianli and Wu Wanli as they take on a new task for the People's Volunteer Army to defend a bridge that is part of the escape route of US troops during the Korean War. We haven't seen this movie yet, so we can't comment on it. If you have already seen it, let us know in the comments below.